Well, well, well. Donald Trump is no longer president. I'm sure some people are sad. Some people are happy. But for me, this is one of those moments where I get to laugh at everybody. Now, as you may or may not be aware, I'm a misanthrope, which means I don't like anybody. I don't like people. I don't like the human condition, like humanity, any of it. It's all fucking stupid to me. So let's first talk first about who we see on the screen here. Donald J. Trump. I really enjoy the fact that he delivered on zero of his campaign promises. Did a lot of things to help enrich the already rich. Did his part in bombing brown people in the Middle East. And the last bit of fuck you to the American people. All the pardons he did last night. I mean, I'm so happy Julian Assange is still in jail. But little Wayne gets to walk free. Mm. I was particularly amused by the statement of one reporter stating about the lights emanating that were running along uh, the lake. The Sorry, the pool coming from the Washington Monument looked like Joe Biden's arms embracing America right before he sniffed its hair. And I'm sure I'm not the first one to say that joke, but fuck you. So now we have Joe Biden. Oh, I'm going to trust the science, the 100 days of masks, which I already explained to you how you can find out how effective or ineffective masks are. But I will take this opportunity to talk about something else people have discussed, for lack of a better word, is the people not being able to breathe when wearing the mask. Once again, I follow the science. I've studied the science many years of my life. So why is it a people, why is it a people, some people at least, say they can't breathe while wearing the mask? Well, do you know the process of waterboarding somebody? You see, if you want to waterboard somebody, which we all know by now is a torture technique, you simply cover up their mouth and nose with some piece of cloth, and then you get that piece of cloth damp. And the body will instinctively believe that you're underwater, and then you can't breathe. Does this happen in everybody? Hmm. Depends. It depends on the dampness of the cloth. But, for some people, it doesn't need to be that damp. It's just that heavy, damp, humid air that you're sucking in. And what happens when you wear a mask for a long time? Oh, it starts to get damp from your breath con uh, condensing on the cloth or fabric or whatever the fuck your mask is made out of. So, follow the science, shall we? Which science is he following, I wonder? And Joe Biden, oh, the $1,400, I mean $2,000, I mean $1,400, everybody's going to get. Oh, it's so great that we're getting $1,400, I mean $2,000, I mean $1,400. Thank you, thank you for buying our love with your money, buying our votes. The man with his arms outstretched to embrace America, who probably shot a 20 under par golf game when he was 12 years old, who could probably pick up a Buick with one arm, and I mean the older Buicks, you know, the metal ones, when, back when cars were really cars and not this crap we drive nowadays. You see where I'm going with this? But at least 2020 is over, right? Hmm. 2020, the year that feudalism was solidified in the world. Again. And of course, it's 
just the same as it was a thousand years ago. It's just better toys. That's all. Better toys to keep the people in line. And I find it interesting that many of the people that I watch are now talking about hope and positivity and trying to make things better in a new light. It's interesting because people are interesting. It's interesting because in some, for some people, I'm pretty sure it's an admittance that, well, can't get any worse, can it? I mean, told you all this was coming for a long time. Yeah, maybe now we should try and figure out a way out of it. So, like I said, 2020, the year that feudalism was brought back to the world. What did we learn from 2020? Let's let's talk about that, because, you know, we're supposed to talk about lessons learned from previous year. Uh, well, let's see. We learned that Krakens are still mythical creatures. We learned that we're supposed to trust the science, believe in the science. And if you believe in the science hard enough that the science will give unto man a child born of science. Because of course by that time men will be able to get pregnant. And that man, that child born unto man from science, who will have neither male or female chromosomes because science, will grow up and one day be crucified for all of our sciencey sins because science yep so Donald Trump and Joe Biden two people lie in their way in the office and will lie their way out and two people that one who's already spent his time with his boot on your neck and the other one who's just getting started 2020 is over, but 2020 is the beginning. The beginning of the age of nightmare fuel.